Hello, this is Jessica from Cisco Tech. Today, I will show you how to configure VRF leaking from VRF to Global Routing Table. In this scenario, we need to pass the route 182, 168, 50, 50 that is part of VRF A to the Global Routing Table. And from the Global Routing Table, we need to pass the route 192, 168, 11, 11 to VRF A. Let's take a look at the configuration. We have created on the router leak the VRF8 with their respective route distinguisher and export details inside of the address family IPv4 that is being used for BGP. Now, let's check the routes. The route 192.168.11.11 is coming from the global routing table and is being learned via EIGRP. In regards, with the route 182.168.50.50, it's been learned via VGP under the BRF A. In order to create the leak, we need to configure two roadmaps. I name one as a BRF to global, and the second one as a global to BRF. For the scope of this scenario, I did not use any filter under the roadmaps but you can use access list or prefix list to be more specific on the routes that needs to be exchanged between the routing tables. At the BRF definition, we need to configure the following import map that will be injecting the routes coming from the global into BGP and the export map that will be injecting the routes coming from the BRF A to global. If you notice, we added the previous roadmap names that we configure. After configure or import and export maps, we need to configure a dual redistribution for BGP to EIGRP and EIGRP to BGP in order that the two routes can be exchanged between the two routing tables. As a final verification, we can see that the route 182.168.11.11 is being injected on the BRF A routing table, and the route from BRF A 182.168.50.50 is being injected on the global routing table. I hope this video was useful and thank you for watching.